fans. Well, thank you so much for watching today's awesome vlog. If you're curious what I'm actually doing today, I need your help or something, should I say. I'm trying to figure out where to locate the battery inside the battery box. And fortunately, this battery is a little bit smaller. It's half the size than my bigger battery itself. And this battery is uh, pretty lightweight, uh, should I say. But my issue is trying to figure out where to actually put it inside the battery box itself. And I am going to show you right here. Should I put it towards the middle or should I put it all the way towards the back of the battery box itself? You can't notice it's really half the size is my own. Now this is the middle of the box and it will look nice style, but my problem is is trying to find a way to actual mount the battery inside the box itself. Because I truly don't want to put any uh, more holes in the, the battery box itself, should I say. Or do I have to get a whole new box, should I say. To try to figure out what's the best way to put it. In the middle, or all the way on this side. But let's go ahead and take a look at all the own parts I have uh, for it. And I basically think I have everything to actually build this battery uh, backup system. It's a brand new one. It was my old one sitting over there. Still works fine. Just building a completely different one with lithium ion instead of a sealed load acid battery. But let's take a look at the different parts. Shall we? It's going to be awesome. This is a sneak peek of the brand new battery backup system I am still working on. Like I said, it's not completely done yet. It's all still in pieces, should I say. And I think I have about everything here to start building this system. Let's talk about the parts we're going to need uh, for this system itself. First of all, we're going to need a battery. A 12 volt battery, should I say, it's a lithium ion uh, battery. We got some sharpies here to mark out and lay out where everything is going to go. We have zip ties, the battery voltage meter and percentage meter, the charging uh, plug, some holder, some screws. We got some uh, heat shrink. Uh, we also got terminals should I say we got these pretty cool uh, post um, we got a fuse lock some wire the charging uh, circuit over there fuses couple cigarette outlets and USB stuff over there some red and black wire 12 gauge we got different types of connectors fuse holders circuit breakers uh, heat shrink in a couple different uh, switches. But the only thing we're going to also need to put everything in is a battery box, just like this one, should I say. And everything is going to house in this unit, uh, basically. We just gotta draw some holes, map it all out, and see how we're going to make it look like. Pretty awesome. Let's talk about some safety with this battery backup system. You're going to need some type of an inline fuse or a inline circuit breaker. Should I say this is going to be the master circuit breaker for the whole tile system. And what I really like about this circuit breaker, it basically has like it's a little uh, on and off switch on it itself and that's uh, pretty unique. And I'm still going to have a switch, a master switch, to turn everything off on this system. And let's talk about the fuse lock I'm going to be using. This is the fuse lock I'm going to be using. It has six circuits. I'm going to have enough circuits for everything in this system, should I say. But here is a couple of the fuses I'm going to be using. 
but for the charging circuit itself I'm going to be using a 10 amp fuse a 15 amp fuse and also a 20 amp fuse to basically protect the wiring and protecting the equipment I'm going to be using with this system. What you normally would do is you take one of those, these are called an inline fuse holder. It's basically what this one looks like, an inline fuse holder. And you basically put it on the positives of the battery. And that will actually protect everything as well. But I'm not just gonna just use that. I'm gonna be using the circuit breaker as well. And that's just basically some safety -ness. I want to make sure I want to protect everything. A sneak peek of the whole brand new battery backup system I'm actually working on, should I say. And I know a lot of you are going to say, Chris, why'd you go with a lithium ion battery instead of a sealed low acid battery? Well, I wanted to try a different battery technology and see how well it would actually work. And I'm sorry, I'm not going to connect everything directly to the actual battery itself, should I say. I'm going to be taking a negative wire off of the battery, and I'm going to be taking a positive wire off of the battery, and it's going to be okay, uh, should I say, because I'm going to be using these. These are basically black and red. This is what I used in my last battery uh, backup system, and everything is going to be connected to Huel. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the leads off of Huel, connect them Huel, and everything is going to work perfectly fine with the battery backup system. But just making sure everything is safe, we're going to be using fuses, uh, inline circuit breaker, just making sure I'm protecting the wiring and also the equipment itself, should I say. All right, if you guys and girls are supporting this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a awesome comment down below. Please like, please share, peace out. We'll hopefully see you in the future vlog and thank you so much for watching and have a very nice day. Catch you in the next one. Peace.